The war of Russia against Ukraine has practically cut off access to the markets for grain products for Ukrainian farmers. In a few months, farmers will begin to harvest a new crop and the grain elevators are still storing grain from the last year. Today we still have a lot of leftovers from the 2022 harvest. In previous years, we exported a significant part of our products to the Middle East and African countries, corn and wheat. And now, due to hostilities, the ports have ceased to receive in such a volume. After Russia blocked grain exports in 2022, Poland and other neighboring countries of Ukraine agreed to help transport grain by truck and rail. As a result, due to an excess of Ukrainian grain and weather conditions in Eastern Europe, purchase prices from local producers dropped sharply against the backdrop of a decrease in their own harvest. It was a very dry year. We lost from 30 to 40 percent of our crop. Then the situation worsened when a large amount of Ukrainian corn and wheat entered the market. Prices have dropped by 50 percent. European farmers began to protest. To protect their interests, the governments of Hungary, Poland, Bulgaria and Slovakia imposed bans on the inputs of Ukrainian grain. Romania is still considering the possibility of banning grain inputs of Ukraine. The main reason for the grain ban is that over the past year, contrary to the plan of the so-called Corridors of Solidarity, a significant amount of food remained in the country and the main production and trade chains were disrupted. Experts say that the prices of Ukrainian suppliers have led to a situation where partner countries were forced to pay attention to their own economic interests, where one of the main factors is the support of a domestic manufacturer. A return to the global markets where Ukraine was a successful player would be the best and mutually beneficial solution to the situation, and by achieving such a result will be effective assistance to Ukraine and its armed forces as soon as possible to end the war. Taras Dumich, Ukrainian office managing partner, international law firm World Size, in an interview with Focus. On the morning of April 21st, the first trucks with Ukrainian agricultural products, including corn and eggs, began to transit through Poland to Netherlands using special sealed containers. Also, the transit of Ukrainian food goes through Slovakia and Hungary. The first transport that left the border crossing in Dorohuski is headed for the Netherlands. The commodity there is grain, corn and eggs. The entire transit was carried by a convoy by officers of the Customs and Tax Service. The freight consists of five trucks and two cars of the Customs and Tax Service. In addition, this transport was secured with electronic seals. The European Union plans to allocate an additional 100 million euros in assistance to farmers in five neighboring states of Ukraine. And the European Commission insists on the development of a common European policy on food inputs. The EU assures that it strives to support Ukraine in the export of its products, including agricultural ones, as Europe definitely sees it as an important element of the Ukrainian economy. And on April 26, representatives of the UN World Food Programme announced that they were ready to take away from the European Union's surplus grain, because of which farmers in Eastern Europe had problems to further transport into the countries in need of food. Reported by Natalia Hutak, UATV News.